Howdy folks, welcome to Brain Rotters. On the DC side of things, the Flash movie set photos have been running rampant the past couple weeks, but today we have some looks at Ben Affleck returning as Batman with a new Bat Cycle. So we're going to be talking about that as well as we're going to be talking about Ben Affleck's cancelled Batman movie that almost happened. So stick around and stay with me. First, let's talk about his suit in the set photo. It looks like he's wearing the tactical suit that he wore in Justice League based on the padding, which means there's some kind of big fight that he's going to. Either he's fighting one of his villains and Flash is about to get in the way or isn't too far and decides to tag in, which means that some of the Flash movie is now set to be in Gotham 2, not just Central City. Let's just talk about this scene alone with Batflick chasing an armored truck of some kind, meaning the truck could be harboring a villain that Batman needs to stop or the vehicle could likely be SWAT instead or some kind of authority that is on their way to intervene in an escalating situation, which I think is likely the case because I don't think Batman is necessarily chasing it. Why? Because the green screen at the end of the street here tells me that whatever is at the end of the street that Batman is heading to means there is a CGI catastrophe going on. Since it is a Flash movie and it's based on the Flashpoint storyline, I think it could be Barry Allen's first encounter with the reverse Flash, who is the villain of the Flashpoint plot. Speaking of Batman heading places, I'm a big fan of the Bat Cycle here. It's possibly the most sci-fi Bat Cycle that we've seen on the big screen, comparing it to the really grounded, realistic Bat Cycle that we'll get in Robert Pattinson's movie and Christian Bale's bat cycle was semi-realistic in the sense that it's a big bike with huge wheels. In a comic book sense, the bike actually looks heavily inspired by the Batman Beyond cycle and even has the same wheels on it that his Batmobile has too. Hey, you made it this far, you might as well subscribe if you're new as well as hitting that bell for notifications so you don't miss another video just like this one. It does look like a motorcycle designed for toys for after the movie comes out though. Just because of the way it's made, it looks well designed for a toy Batman cycle so I think that plays a lot into it and I think it's really how it differs from Pattinson's and Bale's. It's great to see Ben Affleck return to the role of Batman being that he is one of my favorite Batman but aside from that it's that he dropped out of the role of Batman a few years ago when he was unable to finish the script of the Batman movie he was supposed to not only write but direct and star in too but he did drop out because of heavy alcoholism so he went to rehab and now he's back to just sharing the screen in an ensemble cast as Batman. I mean, the whole reason we are getting Robert Pattinson's Batman movie is because DC wanted a new Batman movie and Ben Affleck couldn't deliver. With Batman's overall role in the film, it's either to officially kill off Ben Affleck's Batman or to continue his heroic mentorship with Flash that he started in Justice League or to just cause conflict with the Michael Keaton version of Batman that will exist after Flashpoint. Thank you all so much for watching. What do you think of the set photos? What do you think of the Bat Cycle? What do you think of Ben Affleck being in the movie? I want to hear all your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for the massive support recently, by the way. So appreciated. Thanks again, everyone. Have a great rest of your day.